Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Mirabah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voices and with us sing, Alleluia, Alleluia. Thou burning sun with golden beam, thou silver moon with softer gleam. O oh, praise him, O oh, praise him, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Thou rushing winds that are so strong, ye clouds that sail in heaven along, O oh, praise him, hallelujah. Thou rising morn in praise rejoice, ye lights of evening find a voice, O oh, praise him, O oh, praise him, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. My heart is ready, O God, I will sing, sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. O come and deliver your friends, Help with your right hand and reply from his holy place. God has made this promise. I will triumph and divide the land of Shechem. I will measure out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh. Ephraim I take from for my helmet. Judah for my commander's staff. Moab I will use for my washbowl. On Eden I will plant my shoe. Over the Philistines, I will shout in triumph. But who will lead me to conquer the fortress? Who will bring me face to face with Edom? Will you utterly reject us, O God, and no longer march with our armies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. With God we shall do bravely, and he will trample down our foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Accept the prayers of your servants, Lord, and prepare our hearts to praise your holy name. Come to our aid in time of trouble, and make us worthy to sing you songs of thanksgiving. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. The Lord has robed me with grace and salvation. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, and my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growing spring up, so will the Lord make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. 
For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet, until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nation shall behold your vindication, and all kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall men call you forsaken or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. <laughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has robed me with grace and salvation. I will praise my God all the days of my life. My soul, give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, who is hope, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain? It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free, the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and the orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God, from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God of glory and power, those who have put all their trust in you are happy indeed. Shine the brightness of your light on us so that we may love you always with a pure heart. I will praise my God all the days of my life. A reading from Deuteronomy chapter 7. You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiarly his own. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you out from his strong, with his strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare, from those who would trap me with lying words, and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. Whoever hears my words, says the Lord, and believes in him who sent me, has eternal life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sights all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. 
In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Whoever hears my words, says the Lord, and believes in him who sent me, has eternal life. Let us give thanks to God our Father. Through the power of the Spirit, he purifies our hearts and strengthens us in love. Let us humbly ask him, Lord, give us your Spirit. Help us to receive good things from your bounty with a deep sense of gratitude and to accept with patience the evil that comes to us. Lord, give us your Holy Spirit. Teach us to be loving, not only in great and exceptional moments, but above all in the ordinary events of daily life. Lord, give us your Holy Spirit. May we abstain from what we do not really need and help our brothers and sisters in distress. Lord, give us your Holy Spirit. May we bear the wounds of your Son, for through his body he gave us life. Lord, give us your Holy Spirit. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, you reward virtue and forgive the repentant sinner. Grant us your forgiveness as we come before you confessing our guilt. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.